My grandfather had a lot of books at home. The shelves were full of gems like Picture of Dorian Gray or Catch-22. But when I was little, I was more interested in Aesop's fables. The short stories with a decent number of pictures. Always with a lesson at the end to remind people of age-old truth. There was a lion who underestimated mouse, which later saved him from a net. An observer watching the sky and not noticing the well beneath his feet. Or a cricket who had a party all summer and froze to death when the winter came because he wasn't preparing for a rainy days. So how should we save if we don't want to end up like a cricket from a fable? And what are benefits of saving except not freezing to death in the winter? On average women in the UK have savings of £6,900 while men have on average £13,000. But also 40% of people between age 22 and 29 have no savings at all. I'm sure you've heard the phrase pay yourself first. This means that the first thing you have to do after you get paid is to put some money aside. 10% would be great, if you can afford more, put aside more. But if 10% is too much for you, no worries, even 5% is better than nothing. You should put money in the bank. Pillows and socks are out. If the bank charges you for maintaining the account, change your bank. This fee is the biggest in these areas. Basically, the bank wants you to pay them so they can take your money and lend it to someone at 13% APR and then give you 0.01% interest so you don't cry too much. In my opinion, you should get 13% just because it's your money, while the bank could get 0.01% as a commission. But we would have to come together and take our money out at the same time to remind them who is here the boss and who is just a provider of service we can do without. Back to saving. Open another account to which you will send your savings. This is very important part, separating savings from current month income. You are putting your money out of sight and out of reach. If I see £4,000 in my account, I will use £4,000. But if I only see what is left from the last paycheck and the next one is not coming anytime soon, I will do everything to make sure that I will not run out of money until next paycheck arrives. It is good to have at least 3 months of income on your emergency fund, in case something bad happens. You lose your job, a major repair on the house, your car broke down, your parents need to borrow. There should be no debit or credit card tied to your savings account. And some recommend that your savings should be in a different bank than your main account. If it's harder to access your savings, there is a lower chance that you will spend them for something you'll regret after a week. Having most of your money on another account has many advantages. It protects you from scammers who call people from their bank and they need to transfer their money to a secure account because your money is already on a secure account. And if your debit card disappears, you know that in the worst case, you will lose only money which is left from the last paycheck. And even if somebody puts a gun to your face, sorry buddy, I really only have 200 pounds in my account. The money saved has a good effect on your self-confidence. Thanks to them you will not let others to treat you like a piece of shite. For example, if you live from paycheck to paycheck and you don't have any savings and your boss tells you I know you had five knife chips in a row, but I need you to take two more on Saturday and Sunday. Sign here that you actually want it. Oh, and on Monday, you start with the morning shift. If you don't like it, there are 10 people in the queue waiting to take your job. If you don't have money and you desperately need that job, you will sign anything your boss tells you. And agree with whatever he will say. But if you have saved one year worth of income, your conversation with your boss, let's call him Fat Chris, could look like this. Good to know you have 10 people who can come to work on weekend. So, see you on Monday. Wait, wait, it was a joke. I really need you to come over on the weekend. How oh, you sound desperate. Is it really that bad? Situation is really bad. Company can face fines if we don't work on weekend. Okay, you can count on me on Saturday. And I'll take triple pay. <laughs> you want too much and I need you for a whole weekend. By the way, will you be here on weekend? Do you think I have no life? I will spend my time with my friends and driving around my scooter. Really? Well, it's okay if the company can't afford to give me triple pay for my overtime. So, 
See you on Monday. Oh, you won. Saturday only, triple pay. Thanks boss, you're so fat. Another good piece of advice is to rename the account to what you want to save for. For example, a trip around the world, holiday in Thailand, diamond engagement ring, Maserati Gran Turismo. This will make you more willing to save and there is less chance that you will withdraw money and use it for something else. And the last step of saving is as soon as the next paycheck arrives, you have to put everything what is left from previous month to savings as well. This way you will ensure that you are only spending money which you earned in current month. Remember that spending more than you earn leads to very unpleasant places. This was my savings video. If you liked it, do everything other YouTubers say. Like, subscribe and the bell. And if you are here for the first time, please type in comments at this high. It means a lot to me. And thanks for watching this video.